Welcome! We just seen the first quarter finals from the Pro League final and Elevate knockout ends right in the quarter finals. I have looked at the map, I looked at the replay and I have picked out 7 tips that you can start using straight away to win more matches in Rainbow Six Siege. And spoiler alert, there will be some Mira plays here. Mira is now a big part of the meta on defense, just as Canadian said as an expert on their panel, in the beginning you just used Mira on the regular bomb sites just to strengthen your defense. Now you're starting to see some new bomb sites, some brand new tactics that sort of evolve around the Mira window and what she can do. So we will see some good Mira placements, some Mira strats and two very beautiful C4 plays also. So with that let's get into tip number one. It represent any sort of mix up represented here. Uh, slightly different on the defense. I mean, we've got that pulse, in, uh, on, but we're talking about border. Pulse on border makes a lot of sense as this is one of the most destructible maps in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can see Wilkie sporting the, the newest pulse elite skin there. Mm -hmm. But uh, but no, all, in, in all seriousness here, this map and this bomb site in particular has been one of the most foundational maps from almost every team in the Pro League. Yeah, and we are going to be seeing Ents Esports going for a CCTV hold. Here you can see how this mirror was set up. You see it down the hallway, down to the stairs. And that inner wall towards the fountain was open up, both walls, so you see all the way into office here. So if you for example try to breach right there, you can see them all the way from the mirror. But the good counter to this is of course to play Blackbeard behind that counter because then his body is protected and his shield from his face so it's very good counter to someone's runs Mira here. Control over CEO, those huge charges can be extremely useful. Interesting Mira window going to be set up by Ents. So this was another Mira strat that they ran. When you're protecting down here in the archives, they put one here towards the open area, towards the office there. And then they can leave the other walls here not reinforced and put those reinforces in more useful places. Because when you have Mira here, she can deny them coming in here. Because when she stands here, they can't come through that door. And attackers like to come in here towards the open area. Because they only need to worry about two flanks, one here and one over here. And of course some playing above. But it's a pretty straightforward to go in here and breach towards B. But with that Mira window, it's very hard for them. Then they also had a rotation hole down here, because when they have the mirror window, the attackers can't use that hole because they will get shot, but the defenders can, when they need to, rotate out towards open area and flank the attackers. Did on PC, they've been to every LAN event for PC. Mm -hmm. They've uh, had a really good running. Uh, Ents, on the other hand, has existed since day one on PC, and they've been to all of these LAN events. But Overall, there's a lot of pressure on both of their shoulders to win the event as a whole. And this is interesting. I mean, just in general, all the teams here have that same pressure. All of them are being looked to as a team who is slotted to win. Here we see the Panari and uh, Wilkie combination yet again. In oh, oh, it's going to work this time. Wonderful C4. And that's what I was talking about. This was an amazing C4 play. It's a very advanced play because it's not easy to do. So the setup was this, they knew that they always came through the tunnel. So they set Pulse right at the door, scanning to see when they are coming, if they are standing still, exactly where they are. Then you have Valkyrie, who was ready with her C4, and then when Pulse gave the call, she just threw it down in the tunnel and killed the Blackbeard in this round. So very smart counter to when you know the attacking team always come through that tunnel, but it's a very hard play to do because you have so little time to throw that C4 and you have to get it in perfect position. Open up that wall into A and get that defuse plant right in the corner in what we would consider to be the default bomb plant or def uh, defuse plant spot. Now, wall will get opened up and like you said, that's defamp default plant spot, which is what happens. Basically, you go on inside, turn around and actually plant towards the outside. Now, this is all up to Boonsie again to toss those gas grenades forward. And there's no smoke right now. I don't think he's, he's all the way on the B bomb site. He might not be able to hit this. He might not, but it looks like Shate picks up that kill into Skies, and that's going to be a nice flank coming on around. You have Skies and Cantor Kenny still coming around for the flank, and it looks like the plant tries to go down. Boonsie will I not get the gas grenade out. out. Plant will go it's down. He actually shot it. He shot that gas grenade. Plant goes down. That's the second one down. It looks like Chapter and Skies. When attacking downstairs, going to the server is a very common strat, and it's, I would say, the best way to get to this objective. And here you see the perfect example how to get this plant down. 
We've seen earlier examples for sake when you go with the montane, but here you just breach the wall closes here, so you can go in, stand, and get a bit of cover behind the wall here, and then plant facing outwards because then you're as little as exposed as possible. And then you can have, for example, glass or in this case blackbeard standing back here covering this angle because you usually have some kind of mirror windows, pre-open holes that the defenders will try to use to stop that plant. And most of all, you usually have smoke trying to throw smoke canister because that's the best defense against this plant is to get a smoke right there so you have to abort it. This time, Blackbeard just shot the smoke grenades straight out of midair. Position supplemented by the Pinari on the white stairs means that they act. So this was a mirror that they ran several times when roaming. So when you're, for example, defending train, you ha they had usually one or two roamers up here and they had this mirror window up here to the system because this way they can play at the white stairs, denying the white stairs, but at the same time using this mirror and the pre-open holes they can see all the way into Cigar and keep an eye on that. So this makes it hard for the attackers to play on top before they clear that roamer. And with this setup, one guy can basically keep an eye on the entire top floor and it's much more effective as a roamer. ...and used this in the past and it could work really hard against Oh, C4 might get tossed up here if they have the correct timing. Wilkie right now is just listening for the sound cues and he'll toss it on up through the drop hatch. The second that he sees just like the top of someone's head, he will curl that C4 and very likely get a kill. There oh, it is. Oh, he missed it. Oh, Whoa! no, he got a double. I didn't even think they got all the way up there, but Wilkie with a double C4. That's going to make a five on three in favor of Ents. This was just amazing C4 play again from Wilkie. He had opened the hatch down here. Then with the Deagle, he opened up a small hole so he can stand down in the lobby. And as soon as he got the call, as soon as he heard them coming through up the red stairs, pushing towards the guard there, he just threw the C4 up and he got two kills in this example. And he got another kill later in the match through the exact same hole. It's a very useful C4 hole. But remember, you have to aim pretty high to get it all the way up. The first kill of the round onto Pinari upstairs. So this is the third mirror in this video and it's a very smart one facing the white stairs because Enz was time and time again doing their push through the white stairs. So they just put a mirror here, rotation hole on the side, so this way they can keep a good eye on the white stairs and it's very hard for attackers to push up when that mirror window is in place and when a defender can strafe out through the, the pre-open hole anytime they see one and just align the shot perfectly. That's it for this time guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you really appreciate it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and if you don't already do, subscribe. And I will soon be back with more Rainbow Six Siege videos.